Hey, do you know how to figure out a pipe offset using 45 degree angles? Let's talk about that. Calculating an offset is one of the math skills you need to pass your journeyman plumber test. According to the International Plumbing Code, an offset is a combination of approved bends that makes two changes in direction, bringing one section of the pipe out of line, but into a line parallel with the other section. Or in other words, the pipe is running along, but has to shift the center line over while still going the same direction. This is usually to go around an obstacle. Offsets can be created using 90 degree fittings or 45 degree or even other angle fittings so long as both fittings are the same degree angle and that will bring that line back in parallel. Most commonly offsets are calculated using 45 degree fittings so let's see how we do that. In order to do the calculations relating to a 45 degree offset, we need to be able to visualize the triangle created by the offset. The angle pipe is the diagonal of the triangle. The offset is the distance the center of the pipe has moved over from its original location. The run is how far the pipe travels as it is angling over to a new center location. Okay, so to calculate, we need to understand the right triangle with two 45 degree angles. This triangle has two sides that are the same length. Let's call them A and B. If we know the length of A, then we also know the length of B because they are the same. Most often, we are calculating for the diagonal, which is C, because that's where the pipe will run. To calculate C, we must simply multiply the offset by our magical plumber number 1.414. If you are a plumber, if you intend to be a plumber, this is a number that must be burned into your mind and memory forever. 1.414. Let's look at an example as we calculate for the offset. What if the offset is 5 inches and we want to find the diagonal which is where our pipe will run? We will take the offset which is 5 times that by 1.414 and on a calculator we will find 7.07 .07. now if we were to convert that into fractions of an inch we will find that it is seven and one sixteenth of an inch that's it now don't forget that the diagonal is a measurement from the center of one fitting to the other and that fitting is going to take up a certain amount of space this is called a fitting allowance which must be subtracted from that center to center measurement to get the cut for your pipe. All right, so that is it for 45 degree offsets. Before you go, I have to show you this. This is the book I wrote to help you get ready for your journeyman plumber or contractor test. It is published by Upstrive. They are an excellent resource. You can find them online. They have exam preparation helps and mentors and other resources. This will help you with your plumber math and your code understanding. So make sure to check that out. I've got a link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.